Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take a look at CCDs, the onset of CCDs that revolutionized the way in which we do astronomy. What are CCDs? Well, most people that have cell phones and digital cameras already are using one. It's simply the electronics that is able to capture a sensitive image, like a light image, by having light shine on a, on a computer chip that actually allows the light to be collected on single individual small what we call little pixels. So here's an example of where we have like a digital array of pixels as many as a thousand by a thousand. When you multiply those that would be one million pixels on this one little chip right here and each individual pixel can independently store a certain amount of light that they receive through a camera or through a lens and then store that image into a computer. So we can take multiple pictures like that with the same CCD over and over and over again. Now typically in today's cell phones and digital cameras the number of pixels is somewhere upwards of about 10 to 12 million. So an array of 3000 by 3000 to 4000 by 4000 pixels for a single photographic image. That's absolutely amazing. So the efficiency is also a big boom. Photographic plates they collect about 2% of the light that they receive. So you have, to, you have to let the lens open or the aperture open for a long time to collect enough photons to make a photographic image and it would be not nearly as good as a CCD. A CCD's efficiency is about 70%. It collects about 70 or stores about 70% of the incoming light into the photograph, meaning the efficiency is about 35 times better than the efficiency of a photographic plate. In addition to that, we get a real-time image. You could sit miles away from the telescope, have everything done automatically, open up the telescope, allow it to be pointed to where you want to be looking at, then have the image fed to your computer at your desk. You look at it in real time and you can make adjustments as you're looking at the photograph and looking at the real-time image to, before you make a final commitment to what you want to see and what you want to photograph. So we have real-time feedback, much more efficiency, and we can collect light over a, an incredible amount of pictures. The more um, pixels, I should say, the more pixels you have, the more accurate, the more sensitive, the higher resolution you can make your image. For example, sometimes we'll have multiple of these CCDs in the same electronic device below a telescope. So for example, let's say you have CCDs that can have 20 million pixels apiece, like four to 5,000 uh, uh, ray size on each side. And let's say you have 50 of them all crammed together in the same electronics. You could collect as much as 1 billion pixels. And in some cases, we have situations where we have telescopes that will collect in excess, well in excess of 1 billion pixels on the photograph, allowing for enormous clarity, enormous detail on the photographic pictures that they take. CCDs in a very short time have absolutely revolutionized the ability for us to take pictures with telescopes. It started with very primitive types. The first ones they put up on the Hubble were primitive compared to what we have currently in our in our modern day uh, cell phones. We can take better pictures in a way with our cell phones than the Hubble could with its initial photographic plates uh, based on the pixel, well they weren't really plate photographic plates, but based on the pixels that they had inside their CCDs. Of course they've gone up there several times replaced with up-to-date CCDs and up-to-date optics. Of course they're much more powerful now than they were in the beginning when they were put up there. But again, there's no limit as to how powerful we can make these CCDs. And it allows us to do one additional thing. We can actually do very nice image processing on these, which I will show you in the next video. So CCDs, something that we don't hear typically outside the astro astronomical world, but we call them digital cameras. And everybody knows what a digital camera is. You can take an infinite number of pictures, store them in a computer, uh, you know, scroll through them as much as you want, delete them, add more to them. It's absolutely amazing what we can do with our modern technology and the modern CCDs. And so for astronomy, it's been a big plus in our ability to take pictures.